Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be starting off my streamlining series with decluttering my bedroom at my parents' house. If you don't know about the streamlining series, you can watch this video here. But the first thing we're doing is trying to improve this space. I come to my parents' house fairly regularly and my bedroom's become a bit of a dumping ground. Basically anything I don't want, anything I don't wear, it lives here. It's been abandoned here and there is so much stuff from five years ago, ten years ago. These drawers are full of stuff that I never wear so we're gonna start with the drawers and see how much we can get done before I run out of energy. Okay, right so is it going? Okay. I'm gonna stumble at huddle number one. Such a good jumper, I just don't wear grey anymore. Such a good jumper. I could wear it. Do you want it? Yeah, I like it. Oh, okay, okay. Um that can go in, in my pajama bag uh pile. And my streamliney go bag. Yes, go bag pile. Pajama pile. Because they don't make me feel fancy and I've now I've I've pivoted to fancy pajamas. I wear them so much and I want to be fancy but I've got a lot of old pajamas and they can go in my go bag I don't think the word go bag is right but I don't know what else to call it pre-packed bag that's the same problem as the other grey jumper it's such a nice grey jumper this one's a bit lighter I might actually wear this one it's not as dark as that one mm. am I gonna wear it? would it go under like a pinafore or something? Uh, it's a bit loose to be mm. layered under stuff yeah in a maybe pile I guess maybe pile this is, I think this is just too square. I like this, I wish it wasn't black. <laughs> See, all of my old clothes are the wrong colours. I had such a phase, I had a, I had a grey, black and white phase where just the universe had no colour and everything was a nightmare. Um, but it also meant that oh, I only w bought neutrals and no, I like this. Is there a cute pile? Yeah, I'm just chucking it over there. This is stretched out, that's going. I do like these pyjamas, but they don't have a matching top and that annoys me. They probably did at one point. They would definitely have had at one point. Ooh, no, this can go, this is... Wait, it's not what I thought it was. No, it can still go, it's see-through and it's really annoying to wear. Never have the right underwear on for it. You can't be tired already. <laughs> I just started. No, this is good. I think I could wear this with a lot of outfits. And I like this too. This I actually I wore not long ago. I don't know why it's in this drawer. No, too square. <laughs> <laughs> See, just the, the 2018 time period. Everything's a square. And they're not good enough quality to to just keep until it comes back. No, because they they're, they're, a bit, the they're already a bit already. worn. Oh, it's a one of them. A bodysuit. It's probably actually useful, isn't it? Mm. Bodysuit. This isn't even mine, this is this is this is my brother's. Um that clearly I stole. I'm taking with me more things that I'm throwing away. This is wrong. Uh this this is a million years old. This, this, this we bought in Victoria's Secret in Arizona no, in twenty really? eleven. That is wild. I also had some jogging bottoms. Yeah, I remember going to the Victoria's Secret in Arizona. And you know, some underwear, but this is the only thing that's lasted. Yes. No, of course not, because it's 15 years old. Well, no, it's not. It's 12. It's 12 years old. That's just a bin. Yeah. Those are better than the black ones, but that looks quite new. Oh, uh, this, no. no. It's not new, new, but... Oh, no, it's been chucked. Oh, I made it bigger. <laughs> belt. I've got another brown belt, which is almost exactly the same, and I like it a bit better. Oh, there you go, then. Do you need a brown belt? Yes, I'll have it. That's it. Recycling. Good. Recycling from who knows when. Oh, a label from for mom jeans. So that's what, 2018? I don't know. <sighs> yeah. For 50s dresses. Is that not clear? Except I badly shortened the waist bit because it was too long and it was peeking out and it was annoying me. It's not good quality petticoat. I have a friend who wears 50 stuff regularly and she has the softest, floofiest petticoat and this one's like plastic. But realistically, if I wanted one, it would work. Yes, there's no point throwing it away, is there? No, might as well keep it. If ever you need one, there's no point in buying another one, is there? No. Or make one. It's just really hard to store. Yes. 
We just need to put it in a little bag, don't we? Uh, joggers in my signature grey. They are, these are newer, but not new. I mean, they're covered in paint. Put it on the maybe pile. No, horrible. <laughs> horrible cheap jeans. <laughs> the hold of fast fashion w when I was a teenager oh, was nice. strong. See, I could wear this now. Yeah. You wear a lot of things. Like I wear a lot of yeah. turtlenecks. Oh, this is also, this is a turtleneck I didn't mean to have here. Oh, this is, this is, this is bobbly. That's another turtleneck. What is it? It's a oh, turtleneck. It's... Why are you still on my turtlenecks? Well, I, I, I would have looked in the straw for them, I guess. When you said, I've got any turtlenecks at home, and I said, no. Obviously, they were underneath the petticoat. This was knitted by my grandma. Keep. Keep forever. Not going anywhere. And my school jumper. <laughs> um, I don't know. Do I want it? I don't know. Do you want it? I mean, there will come a point where it's going to be chipped away, won't they? You know, I haven't got mine, is what I'm saying. Mine, mine didn't have a badge on it, so it was just a jumper. But just on the maybe pile. This is a keep, but this is not coming to bar. That's what I thought it is. It's knit, it doesn't that matter. It's not made creased, is it? This I got for volunteering, but I'm just not really a hoodie person. I don't know what to do with it. Guess I keep this. It's got my initials on it. I'll put it in for now, because I, you know, I can go on the next call. That's two. This one's empty. This one's... The main three things are still in it. Another great jumper. I had a phase, but this is a nice that one. That's a nice jumper. It's quite short in boxes, though, which is, you've been rejecting. But I think it's bad. It's not as bad in jumpers. T-shirts, short and boxy, not for me. But jumpers, jumpers are too boxy. They're jumpers. Okay, fair enough. Maybe. No. Oh, I don't like that. I don't know where that came from. I bought it on eBay, and the photos were. I, Misleading, shall we say? It, it's that. <laughs> it's so wide for no reason. It's my. It's 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 a small. I I think. I mean, they were clearly going for something. But I thought it was going to be like a normal jumper, and it it wasn't. And I just never wore it. Wore it. And returning things to eBay is just a nightmare. I say that I've never done it. I just don't want to. <gasps> skinny jeans. <laughs> Very small, those skinny jeans. They're a 10. That's, that's the size I wear now. I know, that's what I mean, but they don't look like they're the size you wear now, do they? <laughs> they look teeny. Well, they're not very high waisted. And they're, by the time skinny jeans come back in, I'm not going to really want to wear. No. These don't fit. They just don't fit. They just don't fit. I don't need to look at them. This is just the worst quality item in the universe. Just a cropped black hoodie. I want to keep the, this. It's good. It, this it's a good quality jumper it well it used to fit really well i assume it still does it's not gray it's not gray it's pre-gray era because i think it's good quality and it's worth it for because i think a lot of these things at some point you probably want something like this mm. it's a very fitted one it was, it was a time period i always like that it fits really well i'm keeping this it's good enough quality to, to last until until I want it again. These are the worst things in the world. They look good though. Aren't they? They're so hard to get on. They're leggings, but they're also like trying to be office wear because they're like kind of like check. They're such an odd item that is so mid 2010s, I think. It's just. You're not gonna wear them, like. Well, I don't think I'd fit them anymore. Maybe, but yeah, small. Not getting into them, also, I don't think I want to. The era of leggings as trousers is done. For me, at least. I could. I don't know. It doesn't inspire me. Chuck it then, because you've got a lot. I mean, it's good got quality. You've got three or four. Well, it's not, it. but it's good enough. No. Be ruthless. Absolutely not. Is. No horrible. Ho These weren't even good when <laughs> I had them. The black jeans at least were did fit amazing. These are exactly the same, same brand, same size, same everything, and for some reason they weren't. They didn't fit right. They never fit right. We're in the skinny jean pile. I had these when I had to have black trousers for my job. Oh right, okay. These are the horrible black jeans that I had for my job, and this is another pair of the same jeans. Absolutely not. We'll never put those on again. Empty drawer. Empty drawer. This drawer is chaos. This drawer has loads of random stuff in it. This is a homemade skirt. It's a little bit tight, but I do like it. I wore it before Christmas because I didn't. Have, I, I wanted a skirt and I didn't have one. Yes, and then you said to take this home and not wearing it again. I did. 
But what are we going to do with it? I made it and it's actually quite successful though, I want to throw it away. I think I should keep these. Yeah. I think, I don't know how to wear them. They look really good on, mm. but this is probably summer pile. I loved this top. I wore it all the time. But what, so why did you stop wearing it? I don't know, just a little bit outdated. But maybe it's a keep until it comes back. Mm -mm, but it's still. I had that in 2020, but it's so see-through. Pajamas. Old. Very old. More, uh, more pajamas. Pajama pile to work out for later. Pajamas. More pajamas. I think that's it on the pajamas. Oh, I hate those. I hate. I hate these so much. Well, they are they mine or are they yours? They're not mine. Okay. Well, they're. I might them. have them for netball. Oh, okay, you can have them. Where's your pile? Um, the back jumper there is my pile. Ah. Get a couple of sets of pajamas. No, I bought. I did an order from Pretty Little Thing once, and everything I bought was the worst quality of any clothes I have ever owned. So I haven't ever purchased from them again. And this is just tea towel. It says one hundred percent cotton, but I don't believe that. Oh, these were my favourites. These were my favourite skinny jeans. They do. They look so small. They're my size, but they're just so much smaller than the they jeans I have on. I feel slightly emotionally attached to them. It's okay to keep one pair of skinny yeah. jeans. What if I need to go to a mid 2010s party? But if someone has a 2014 party, I'll need them. You will need them then. Right, more leggings. Oh, these, these, these have bleach marks all over. Bleach. Them, I think this is again the same yeah. as the other white top. This is. What's this doing here? This is the same as the other white top. It's it's a bit outdated, but there's nothing wrong with it, and actually still quite like it. So I could just keep it until it comes back. Yeah. I think it has a stain on it. You could put it through the wash and see how it comes out. I really like this skirt, but then you put it on and it's just something's wrong. And I don't know what it is, and I've never known what it is, and I've always been disappointed with it because it always looks better like this than on. Maybe. Maybe five. top that I wore when I first started going clubbing. This was my clubbing top. I'm never gonna wear this again. I very rarely go clubbing and I certainly don't wear flowy vests. <laughs> this was cute. Mm. I liked this. That was nice, yeah. All my clothes are black from this time period. All my out going out clothes are black and all my jumpers are grey. I still, I mean, I was still into fashion but I just didn't have like the mental capacity to care or to try or to anything. So I just thought if I just wear one, if I wear a colour scheme that everything goes with everything and I will never have to worry that things don't match. I think it was just a symptom of the anxiety and depression, just really. And fatigue. And fatigue, controlling. I, I mean, to be fair, I was also, at this point, the colour scheme was, was me trying to streamline my life, actually, funnily enough. But that's not the area to do it, I don't think. Not for me. I think if you don't care about clothes, it's a really good idea, maybe. Try and make a colour scheme and then just you'll know everything matches. But if you care about clothes, always wearing the same colour and the same styles is really sad. <laughs> because you go to put stuff on and actually oh, it's the same again. But so yeah. It's actually not a bad idea if you think it'll work for you, but if you think um getting dressed and doing outfits brings you joy, like it does for me, don't just throw that joy away. <laughs> that won't help. Don't know. That's going. There's the full big ones done. And what we've done instead is make a mess on the floor. Um, I think we should have lunch and I lie down and then we should reconvene for, I don't know, what we'll do next. Stage two. Stage two, yes? Yep. <sighs> There's a bin bag over there, is that summer clothes? Should we carry on with this bag? <laughs> They're too long and I don't want stretchy trousers. I'm done with stretchy trousers. I like that for summer, that's really good for summer. Right. It looks like it'd be so good for summer because it's so floaty, but actually it's quite tight. And also, I don't know, I really like the idea of it. I just don't, it, it doesn't work as well as it, I want it to. That's too small. Just, and also about 15 years old. It's not probably 15. Five at least, maybe eight. It's 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 too old. I need probably need to find something to replace it to do its job, but it's it that needs to go now. I never wear this because it's the wrong pink. There's something about it. I thought, oh, I like this. It's pink. Again, I bought it second hand. It's got the little things. It's like a vest for summer. Interesting. It's because of the things. I don't know what it is about this colour. It doesn't work. 
Again, I'm, this is another thing I made and while this one does fit, I think what I've learned <laughs> is if you make something out of old sheets, you're not going to wear it because it's made out of old sheets. It's a summer dress, but because it's sheets, it's see-through, so I had to line it, which makes it too hot for the summer. I like these too. I really like these jeans because I patched them and it was so fun. And, but every time I put them on, I find a new hole and the holes are always in places where the holes can't be. They're never like, oh, new knee holes. And it's like, okay, it's always just on the bum or wherever, but it's just, no there's just so much. And every time I wear them, I, they're really cool. Should I just have a pile of stuff I've done or like made mm. that I want to keep but not to, not to wear anymore? Yeah. I think maybe that just it needs its own pile. Come in here. Because these things are waiting to be worn maybe in the mm. future. Whereas these things are maybe, may, I mean, maybe they could go in one of the bedrolls with the yeah. like already craft yeah. stuff. Oh, here's another one. Yeah. And I really like this, but it's made of bedding. <laughs> I think I could make this dress again in a non-bedding sheets fabric. It is, again, it's too see-through and the fabric has absolutely no strength or structure because it's old bedding. But it's good cheap practicing. Of yeah, I think, sewing, it's, I think it's really good for mock-ups and I think that's what, I mean, I still have bedding in my fabric stash, but I think it should only be used for mock-ups. And whenever you put on something and try to wear it out and it's made of old bedding, you feel weird. <laughs> And it's just not, but yeah, I think this dress, I think I'd like to make again, but out of a proper fabric mm -hmm. that's for dresses. T-shirt. Smiley man. face t-shirt. This, this is, I, uh, you've seen me wear this probably multiple times. I've always, always thought it was weird or not weird. Very fast fashion of Topshop to sell a t-shirt with a smiley face is not in the middle. It's never been, it's, it, I've always thought it was so weird. It didn't stop me wearing it, but do you think it's done? It's a bit saggy baggy. It's it? a bit grimy looking and it's and clean. This, and this one. We bought all of these a stash for you when you went to uni, so they're quite old. 20, and you wore them a lot. 2019, yeah. Yeah, and yeah a little a part of this one's coming off again. This one hasn't been worn as much. This one can go on the pajama pile probably and we'll see. This I really like the idea of, but it's just see-through. Just there's some fast fashion and selling see-through things is the most annoying. There's just no underwear you can wear under it that works and you can't wear no underwear and it's just, it's, no. You've always made me cross because you have such potential. Pile. This I think is done in its wearing. I think I can't wear this anymore, but I think you, we bought this obviously at the 2012 Olympics when we were going to see some athletics, I think. Normally we all got one each and this was mine and I was about, how old was I in 20? Well, summer. 13. But I was 13 because I hadn't had my birthday yet, so I was 13 when I got this. Uh, I think it's t it's time for it to be retired from the rotation of wearing, but I think we'll keep it for sentimental. Ah, the smiley face is best friend, the gr grumpy face, sad face. This is much more central. And you've not worn it as much as it's... I just prefer white t-shirts, I think. I looked for a white t-shirt today when I put this on and I couldn't, so I had to put a grey one on. Because they're all in this bag. <laughs> I think it's probably good to have some t-shirts. Yeah. Because they are useful. Yeah. This is bobbly, but it's so flattering. Pajamas, that's pajamas, that's so comfy. And again, this is random fabric from somewhere and fabric is not the right type of fabric. Also, I don't like halter necks, which I forgot when I made this. I find them so annoying. But I did. I do like the buttons that I used. Ah, ow, 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 ow. My foot's gone numb. Um, I really don't want to move or stand up. I think I could probably nap on the floor. Just a pillow behind you. Ah, oh, yes. I shall just dive into that scraggly pile of clothes from ten years ago. Have a nap, that'd be lovely. Okay, next stage one and a half complete. Yay, good job, Yay. everybody. Well done, us.
wardrobe. <laughs> so this is a mixture of random stuff from throughout my life and other people's stuff because actually it's always empty because I don't live here. I think we're not even gonna look at the bottom. No way is that happening on this trip. There's so much stuff. And I think the same with the top. It's, that's a whole job, but clothes. Ugh. Getting comfy on my chair. Oh, key. My little bridesmaid's dress when I was eight. What was that? Oh, it's got dinner on it. Because it has your eight. Because I was eight. <laughs> got dinner on it. And little jacket. To, uh, if this, if we had this in my size, I would, to be fair, it's a bit itchy, but I would really like to see that cardigan in my size with a floof. But yes, keep. Never get rid of that. Oh. I really like this. I think this is a contender to wear to my cousin's wedding. Oh, nice. Um, and I, I think it's really, really pretty. Keep. And that's still my size. But I love this one so much. <laughs> it's a 10, but it isn't. It might say it's a 10, but it's definitely not. It could go as a nostalgia draw. Okay, we'll put that on the think about it rail. Up there. Really nice color. Keep. This is my prom dress from when I was 16. I was very ill, so I didn't enjoy the actual prom, um, but I enjoyed the dress. <laughs> and definitely, definitely keep. This is another prom outfit mm -hmm. from an event I didn't enjoy because <laughs> I was too ill. <laughs> Proms were very uh, painful for me, um, but this is a good outfit. Very really? good outfit. Does it fit? I have no idea, I don't know what size it is. I would imagine that this was in my um, very unwell stage and therefore probably is, is, is small. Mm. I can't see a, a, a tag. Okay. I I wore this so much and the lining's ripped. I wore this so much that I have no interest in this anymore. No interest in the style and if the style comes back. I will want one that is made entirely of plastic because it is horrible. <laughs> it's a horrible material. So yeah, if it comes back, I won't. I won't yeah, miss this one, one because it's yeah. not a good quality and it's yeah. not nice. And so I'm trying to think if 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 the thing comes back, will be sad that you don't have the original. For that, I don't think I will be because it's so. That's not mine. I was gonna say I don't even know why this is doing in here. That's not mine. You can check that in the bin if you want. Well, I was going to wear it. Yeah. Oh gosh, I didn't think you were going to, but okay. Well, what, what is it and what's it for? I could have had it for a school trip, but I would have only worn it for a school trip because yeah. I hate fleeces. I'm very anti-fleece. Yeah, I need a bag. I knew we'd get rid of loads of stuff. That's a keep. That's the first coat I ever made. That's that's this is one this is one of the first things I ever made that was actually good. It's not great. It has flaws, but it's. Yeah. It's, that, it's definitely keep. See that that's I think that's a keep. I'm not wearing it at the moment, but I think I'll decide I want it at some point. Right. The rest of these are not yours. So this is that's it. Clothes wise in there. So it's just this you have to decide on. I want to keep this. Okay. Make a better show of it. Well, what I meant was, all the long Oof. ones need to have space behind. Yeah, that makes sense. And they don't at the moment. Okay, so turn the light on because I finally realised how dark it was. Hopefully you could still see at the end. Um, that's the main areas of this that I wanted to get done today. The areas that still need to be done are the top and bottom of the wardrobe, but those are probably like deep dive big projects and the drawers under the bed, which are the same problem. They're too big a job. But this general declutter of the main areas is going to help with one, knowing what I've got here and also having places to put things when I come here because the drawers aren't already full and just not being surrounded by rubbish from 10 years ago. It's just nice <laughs> to not have to be dealing with. So that's pretty much it for today. We're gonna have to tidy up, but I won't 
for you with that. I think I've gotten rid of quite a lot in terms of throwing things away and also things to go to charity. I'm also very aware that I've marked a lot of things to go to Bath, even though I know that my room in Bath is already too full. So either we're going to have to cut that down, we're going to have to declutter in Bath very well, which I'm hoping to do anyway, or hopefully there's some summer things in the pile that will be sectioned off and won't be going to bath this trip and won't be going until the summer and that is all we plan to do today thank you so much for watching this video i will link the playlist for the streamlining my life series in the description and i will see you in my next video bye